This is uh, Tony Soper talking with VJ from uh, TechEd 2010 Day 1. VJ, um, there have been some uh, exciting announcements today about dynamic memory. What can you tell us? Yeah, it's great. First of all, I'd like to welcome everybody here to TechEd. We're really looking forward to folks to come here. You know, come by, drop by the Hyper-V booth, and we'll talk a little more about Hyper-V and dynamic memory and remote FX. So I've got uh, showing here, uh, you know, I've got a you know, Windows, Windows Server 2003 VM running, which has originally been allocated 512 uh, megabytes of memory. And if you look at the settings of this particular virtual machine, you'll see that it's been allocated, you know, its memory setting has been set to dynamic. This is a panel that you get when you actually get uh, dynamic memory with part of Service Pack 1. you see we've set the startup RAM to half a gig of memory and the maximum RAM to 2 gigabytes of memory. And there are two other slider controls that we have, one which controls the amount of buffer that we reserve as memory, and the other we control the priority of this uh, virtual machine relative to the other VMs running on this host. Now, Right now you'll see that the current memory being utilized by this uh, server is just about half a gig of memory, which is the original. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually uh, log into the VM, and I'm actually going to run a, an application which actually synthetically consumes memory inside that virtual machine. Mm -hmm. And the moment we start seeing that, I'd like you to see here that the amount of memory usage has already gone up to 2 gigabytes. So as soon as that artificial load you know, inside the virtual machine started to consume memory, Dynamic memory with the, uh, and Hyper-V were able to provide that memory to the virtual machine on an as-needed basis. And, uh, and once this workload actually stops running, uh, we can also, uh, you know, memory will also be taken back from the. Uh, uh, memory will also be taken back from the VM, and uh, you know, it will be returned back to the. Uh, to the host for sharing with the other virtual machines. The other Sorry. great thing that we have going here is, is remote FX. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I just want to show you a brief demo of that as well. So I've got two VMs here. One is uh, a Win7 VM, which was RTM, with just 2D graphics available. So I'm just playing this game called chess. And you'll see here that you know, uh, when I actually start this game, you'll see that uh, it actually shows a warning that it doesn't actually have uh, 3D graphics available on the virtual machine. And the and the uh, and the graphics itself are actually pretty you know mundane and, and drab. Uh, I'll actually do the same thing. Uh, I'll show you the same thing on a uh, on a remote FX VM, and you'll see that you've got a much Ooh. richer set of graphics available here. Obviously, nice. this is just a just a way to show that we've got 3D acceleration available inside the virtual machine. Now. Uh -huh. So we've got a lot of exciting stuff here. Come drop by the booth, and uh, we'd like to have a conversation with you. Thank you so much, and welcome v to TechEd. VJ, thanks for your time. Thanks, Tony.